Hello and welcome to a new series where I take a bridge that has some connection to the old County Down Railway and tell you its backstory. And in the first episode I mean that quite literally. You may have wondered why this bit of the railway embankment that spans Middlepath Street in Inner East Belfast is so incongruously modern and concrete compared to the lovely old stonework either side of it. Well, the short answer is that they knocked the old bridge down and then rebuilt it 11 years later. That probably doesn't come as a huge surprise. But if you're interested, here's the longer version of the story. In the early 20th century, this part of East Belfast was bustling with houses and shops and with very few private vehicles. This embankment was part of the Belfast Central Railway, which cut right through the area and linked the County Down Railway to the other two railway companies on the west side of the Lagan. And I talk about this in more detail in my Big Three Railways of Belfast video, which should hopefully pop up as a link when I'm saying this. But by the 1960s, both the area's prosperity and the province's, or at least its government's, appetite for rail travel had subsided, and this area started to become a servant to its replacement, the car, with construction of the first phase of the M2 and the opening of the Queen Elizabeth Bridge, changing Middle Path Street from being just that, a street, to a motorway corridor. And as part of this, they needed to get rid of that pesky bottleneck railway bridge. Nobody would miss it, would they? So down it came in July 1965, leaving the Bangor Line, which still ran into Queen's Quay Station nearby, cut off from the rest of the railway network. But in 1976, Northern Ireland Railways realised that the bridge had been quite handy after all, and reinstated it to deliver Bangor trains and their passengers to the new central station. But of course, something built in the 1970s wasn't going to mirror the look of something built in the 1870s, hence the mix and match appearance. Incidentally, as a bonus bridge for this first video, the old Middle Path Street Bridge would have looked very much like this one on Bridge End just a few hundred feet away. This was the entrance to Memel Street. And here's what it looked like in 1930. And you can see what I mean by how much busier the area was. If I switch to Google Street View, there's also another bridge at a right angle to this one that was at the end of the also long gone Lagan View Street. Both look out onto scruffy undergrowth that used to be occupied by densely packed housing and the famous Sirocco Works. But this is one of many areas in Belfast that's due for regeneration, with the new waterside development greenlit and hopefully coming soon, if the economy can sort itself out. And who knows, maybe we'll even get a new train station. I hope you like this video and enjoy the thought of more like it. As ever, please leave me a comment, as long as it's positive, of course. Like and subscribe to encourage me to keep doing these. Thanks for watching and see you soon under a bridge near you.